Africa, the other side of the world, the dark continent, endless plains, dramatic sunsets, and an exotic mixture of species gives one the feeling of hunting in a primal dream. Outdoorsman Jim Benton journeys into the heart of one of the most untamed areas of the continent, Zambia, on a quest for lion. Throughout the ages, the lion has earned its name as king of the beasts and is one of the most challenging trophies of the Big Five. It's a dream come true for me in my life to be able to come over here and experience this. You know, it takes lots of hours of plane travel to get here uh, and, you know, 30 hours later you're in camp and it just it has a very special feeling. It, you feel like you're going back in time. Uh, you're in a remote area of the world. You're, you're away from all the hustle and bustle of the, of the normal life of the daily job and, and business that goes on in the States. Here, uh, you can relax like you can't relax anywhere else in the world. Jim has partnered up with longtime friend and professional hunter, Bertus Gerhardt. I think hunting in Zambia is a great place to experience nature like how it was hundreds of years ago and not have changed a bit. You know, it's, it's such a great big open area way in the middle of nowhere. And it's a, it's a challenge. Jim will make his base at beautiful Damukwa Safari. Going into this hunt, we knew it was going to be a tent hunt. And when one hears tent hunt, you might think, oh, the accommodations uh, might be a little bit slim. But we had hot showers. We had a thatched roof over us. We had a concrete floor, which helped keep things clean. We had a flush toilet. We had beds that were made every day. Bertus, now that we're settled in, the accommodations, excellent. Uh, thanks a lot. I'm glad you guys are here. And hopefully, we're going to have a good safari. Oh, we're going to have an excellent safari. It takes a lot of help to pull off a safari like this. On our safari, we had about 15 guys that were helping us out. From the local villages, you have trackers, you have skinners, and they really enjoy being a part of the safari. African game scouts serve as government assigned defenders against poachers and any other dangers that may arise. Born and raised across the sun-drenched African landscape, Game Scouts are bush veterans and critical team members to have on a hunt. Yeah, I was the ambient professional hunter on, on this hunt with Dixon. Uh, he's been in this area for many years, hunted many lion, buffalo, big game. So it, it was very nice to have him helping us. He knows the area which make it a very important role. When Chambered for the Wild continues, pro Jim Benton continues his African quest. Look at those teeth. Look how thick these bases are. Book your next hunting adventure with Chamber for the Wild Outfit. Every morning, one of the first things that we would do is we'd drive around and check the bait. Only eight a little bit. Only a young male, I think. It's either a young male or a female. Come on, have a look here. He did make some scratches. Marking the territory, huh? One thing in Africa, it's a lot to do with the tracks. The tracks, tell you the whole story. That's pretty interesting. Scratching and then he urinates. Yeah. Now, is this the distance between the claws? Yeah. That's big. Yeah, that's big. You can see like how wet it is up here. This is definitely fresh. Yeah, no, this is definitely of today, so uh, 
And this is what we've been looking for. Yeah. We're getting close. Well, let's go see if we can find him. Okay, great. Yeah, this is where he's glow all the time. Yeah, for the mouth. Yeah, here yeah, in the beer. Yeah. Lions can usually hear a hunter and know his exact position, making it one of the most dangerous animals to hunt on the planet. A big male can charge with amazing speed. Due to their massive size, large fangs and jaws, and razor-sharp claws, lion attacks are fatal over 80% of the time. Okay, things are getting real exciting now. We come in here this morning, we got a lion hitting this bait. We're a little concerned because the track is a little bit on the small side and we're looking for a little bit bigger lion, but uh, finally we got a lion hitting one of our baits. Once the bait was hit, we'd build a blind and this is where we'll be setting. But this is only gonna be what's standing between you and yeah. probably about a 600 pound lion. The rest is okay. The rest is perfect. Okay. hunted this lion for 16 days and this guy seemed to be out smarting us every step of the way. We used many different strategies all along from biting on the ground, uh, dragging towards the air, like coming, spending nights in the blind and we got them to feed but we just couldn't get them to be there on legal shooting hours and enough lighting condition to take a shot. We had decided that we need to try something new, but we weren't giving up. What do we do now? We met up with a professional hunter from Zambia. His name is Tran. And uh, he told us maybe to make uh, a sneak up blind for morning hours. Pro Jim Benton continues his African quest when Chambered for the Wild return. Look at the head on his bear. Look at those teeth. Book your next hunting adventure with Chamber for the Wild Outfitters. This size is unbelievable. We had decided that we need to try something new. This lion had outsmarted us at everything that we tried, so we were going to do a little surprise for him. We met up with a professional hunter from Zambia. His name is Tran. Rather than sitting in the blind all night, we walk in there early in the morning and essentially we stalk the cats. That way he's not going to come around the blind and smell you if you're sitting all night. Actually let him be there and you sneak up on him. So you're actually good, stalking the cat good idea, in, in essence. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's give it a try. This might work. Never know, it might work. And that worked brilliantly. Let's do it. We decided to put some bait in a different location and we were gonna sneak in right at daylight, but we had to sneak in without him hearing us or seeing us. About 300 yards before the blind, we could hear the lions crushing bones on the bait. But when we got in the blind, it was still a little too dark to see them. Then as the light came up, there was two lions. Now the decision was which one was the best lion, and, and all of a sudden, one of the lions stepped out. Two steps, he was gone. We only have two days left at the safari, and it was just hard to wait, but I didn't have a shot. The lion was laying down, and when he stood up, he was right facing me, and no opportunity for a shot. Had to hold, had to hold, and I knew two steps, he's gone. 
And finally, this lion turned a little bit to his left. I'm not taking. The opportunity happened. Nice shot. The lion rolled and he roared, and then I could see him run off to the right. It was just a huge feeling, and we all worked so hard to accomplish this. We didn't give up, and I'm telling you what, everybody started to celebrate. Got him good. <laughs> Got him, man. Look at that. Good shooting. <laughs> Well done. Okay, well done. Let's well see. He's done. He's done. Well done, Jim. Look at this thing. Look at it. Put your hand in. That's good comparison. Look at these claws when you pull them back. Look at this. That's what you don't want to grab you. The massive animal. <laughs> Look at those teeth. An excellent, excellent trophy. I'm, I, you know, right now I feel like I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> This was a special moment, not only for me, this is a special moment for all the people here in the villages. As we made our way back to camp with this lion, people could hear us coming. We had the, the trackers in the back, they were singing, they were playing the drums. Uh, people were coming out at the road. They knew what had happened. And the celebration started. Yeah, I'm going to pick you up. You're going to pick me up. Yeah. I have uh, come away from this with some of the greatest memories of my life. And, um, you know, I think back of uh, everything that we've done on the safari, how everything was real hard work. But now that the hunt is over, you look back and you say, what an adventure. Yay! My heart was going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at this, what a bear! Book your next hunting adventure with Chamber for the Wild Outfitters. Look at the points yes. on this thing.